Yo, what's going on YouTube? B Dot back with another quick video. All right, guys, just waking up around here. Happy Saturday morning to everybody. I'm sure by the time I post this video, it probably won't even be Saturday anymore. You know how I roll, but I'm gonna try to get this video up for you guys today. Now, I haven't done anything to the beard. Just getting up around here. I need to put some water on it, some oil, something like that. But I said, fuck it, let me go ahead and give you guys a quick video. Sitting here drinking my coffee right now. Now, on today's video, I wanted to talk about Artius Man. At the beginning of the week, I received a package. I had put an order in for some Mountain Air beard balm. Um, as you guys know, the Mountain Air beard oil is in my top five or top three beard oil scents. So I had to go ahead and get the beard balm. So as you see, they sent me a nice little box. Now, I just placed the order for the beard balm, but the guys over at Artist Man were kind enough to send me out three samples. Uh, I'm really big on their samples because they're perfect for traveling. As you guys know, the samples are very small. You know, it's uh, not even any ingredients on there. You have to go on the website to check out the ingredients. I rock out with Artist Man, so I pretty much know all the carrier oils, all the essential oils, depending on which scent that you decide to get. But I pretty much know the ingredient profile on Artius Man. One of my top favorite scents is the Mountain Air. Uh, here's the balm right here. It's a spearmint type of smell. It almost smells like new money. As you guys see, a nice white color. Almost a buttery consistency. It's not as hard as most balms. You know, it scrapes out pretty easy. That smell is amazing. And the beer mom comes in a two ounce container. I'll read off some of the ingredients to you guys. Coconut oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, beeswax, rapeseed oil, avocado oil, jojoba oil, and 100% pure essential oils. And that's one thing I did want to mention about Artius Man. Their essential oils that they use for each one of their fragrances it's like in a league of its own. They use a high quality essential oil. So let's get into these samples that they sent me. Now I went on their website and they had the Bay Rum that was gonna be coming out soon. I think it's probably coming out maybe at the end of the month. Uh, I have to check the date on that. I will put links in the description, you guys know that. But uh, this is the Bay Rum scent. Like I said, these small ass bottles, so I don't know how well you're gonna see it. But the other two scents I was I was curious about because I went on their website and on their Instagram and I didn't see these two fragrances on there at all. So I'm thinking there's something new that they're working on or will be coming out shortly. This first one is called Tinderbox. And the second one is called Humidor. Now as far as the Tinderbox goes, you know, you guys... If you ever watched Naked and Afraid, you guys know when they're making their fires um, outside and they got to go and find some tender. So that's exactly what I thought when I read this name, like something to do with making a fire or getting some materials together to start a fire, some little wood chips or some little, some tender. You know what I'm saying? So I figured this will kind of have like a campfire type of smell to it. We will get into that soon and open that up. And the humidor, if you all know, all you guys that smoke cigars or smoke pipe tobacco, a humidor is just where you store the cigars and the pipe tobacco. You know what I'm saying? So I pictured this smelling like walking into a cigar shop. But yeah, I'm curious about this Bay Rum too, because as you guys know, let me see. I love this aftershave. I love, as you see how much I've been using it. But uh, I love this aftershave. After you get your shave on, do your cheek line, shave your head. Throw a little bit of this on, it's very fresh, and I love that Bay Rum scent. Okay, this is the Bay Rum. Let me go ahead and smell this one. Yep. Wow. Now, I really didn't think they were going to be able to get the same scent that was in the Clubman. But honestly, this Bay Rum beer oil smells exactly like the Clubman Pinard Bay Rum. Very spicy, you smell all the clove. You know, definitely a spicy scent, like an aftershave scent. So this is gonna be a fabulous beard oil. I can already tell that because like I said, I love Bay Rum scent in general. That's gonna be a great beard oil. Um, 
Now let's get into the humidor. Again, this is probably going to smell just like walking into a cigar shop. Uh, cigar room, whatever you want to call it. Hmm. You know how they say uh, you got to smell some coffee beans before you smell something else? Well, I got a cup of coffee. Let's smell it. Mmm, Maxwell House. Okay. Now, this is a tough one. I definitely smell. I can see that. It smells almost like a barbershop-y kind of smell to it. Almost a powdery, but I do get the cigar. And I had been to smoke shops before back in my Black and Mild days. I go in and get my Black and Milds. And I could definitely see myself walking in the door and getting that scent that comes from those fresh cigars and that pipe tobacco. Along with a little barbershop-y kind of smell to it as well. Like I said, guys, the ingredients are not on this. And I didn't see uh, these two particular beer oils on their website, but I will try to get any information I can and put it in the links below. That was the tender box. Now that was the humidor. Now the last one will be the tender box. And again, this is just you getting some tender together to make a little fire out in the forest. You know, of course, I don't know how to do all that shit, but I watched Naked and Afraid and I saw them do it, so... You know, to see what this smells like. Wow. Now to me, this has more of a vanilla, like a vanilla profile to this one. I smell like a butterscotch, vanilla. I'm not sure what a tender smells like, what little pieces of wood chips or little pieces of paper or whatever you use to make tender. Not sure what that smells like, but this is definitely a butterscotchy vanilla, like a caramel kind of scent profile to it. Definitely a cool ass scent. And as I said before, Artie's Man has not disappointed me with any one of their products from the beer washes to the beard oils to the beard bombs, you know what I'm saying? This is a very unique company. They work out of small batches, so you don't have to worry about this big ass mass production. So you get some really good quality every time, some love that's put into every product. So I really like that about this company. So yeah, guys, there we have it. Like I said, I ordered the Mountain Air Beard Balm because I didn't have the Beard Balm and I love the Mountain Air Beard Oil. It's in my top three go-to beard oils. Uh, so I definitely had to get the beer bomb. I'm probably gonna take this when I go on my vacation soon. The Bay Rum, if it's not already out, it probably will be out soon. So you guys make sure you go check this out. It smells exactly like the Club in Pinard Bay Rum, um, the Virgin Island Bay Rum. And again, if you are into cigar type of scents, you would definitely like the Humidor. It smells exactly like you just walked into a cigar shop. Uh, Pipe tobacco, cigars, the vanilla type of scent that cigars come with. For the most part, I'm not a huge cigar smoker, but I do smoke them from time to time when I'm out of town. And the last one will be the tender box. And again, if you guys are into the wilderness or making your own campfires and know anything about tender or starting a fire, from Tinder, I'm not sure, but I really, really do like this scent. It has like a vanilla, caramel, butterscotch type of scent to it. So I definitely like this one. And a lot of these scents actually, now that I got them all together, a lot of them sort of coincide with the barbershop type of scent. You know, and you guys, if you want to try out these samples first, you get two free samples just by paying the shipping. Uh, so you really can't beat that. It's like three bucks, you get two oils. So definitely give it a try for that reason. And again, the barbershop scents, you will see once you smell it, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. So there you have it, guys. I want you all to have a great rest of your weekend. As always, thanks for all the continued support. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. And I'll holler back. Peace.